Hi there, viewers. Cancer is one of the most dangerous diseases known to mankind. That's why talking about it can really be sensitive. Chemotherapy can arrest rapidly growing cancer cells and save a life. If you're undergoing chemo, you need to pay special attention to your nutrition to make the entire treatment more effective. In today's video, we're talking about what to eat and avoid when going through chemotherapy. Should you be eating raw eggs? What about bone broth and fruit? We're discussing all of that and more. First, let's take a look at the foods that you should be eating. Rely on dark green veggies. Eating kale, spinach, bok choy, collard greens, mustard greens, and Swiss chard can bring numerous benefits regardless of if you're fighting cancer or not. They contain carotenoids, antioxidants, and flavonoids that help reduce the spread of cancer cells. They also boost the body's defense mechanism. They're also rich in fiber and folate. Chemotherapy can leave a trail of side effects like constipation, fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, loss of appetite, sore mouth, and anemia. Fiber can help you get rid of constipation and folate can reduce anemia. Studies have shown them to reduce colorectal cancer. Wash the greens thoroughly before consuming. You don't want an extra dose of chemicals and pesticides to slow down the treatment. You can even have them blanched or boiled. Never skip bone broth. According to studies, one-third of cancer deaths are caused by weakness and wasting of tissues. This is called cachexia. Excessive sweating, vomiting, diarrhea, and reduced food intake cause an electrolyte imbalance. Your body needs proteins, water, and minerals to bounce back to its healthy state. Bone broth extracts all the nutrients from slow-cooked meat over low heat. Alternatively, you can also make bone broth in pressure pots. You can store them in small glass mason jars in your freezer. You can just reheat and drink them whenever needed. They're super hydrating too. Apples actually keep the doctor away. Prolonged chemotherapy can cause fluid retention and make your hands and feet puffy. Apples are the perfect food to counteract this effect. Potassium from apples can maintain fluid balance. You'll also get an additional boost of fiber and vitamin C from these crunchy treats. A few animal studies found apples to prevent colon cancer. You can add chopped apples to your salad or make delicious applesauce for snacking. Don't underestimate humble bananas. It's time to go bananas over, well, bananas. This superfood is inexpensive and available in almost every part of the world. It's an instant source of energy that can pick you up when you're feeling tired. It can be a great fuel to carry you through chemo sessions. It's rich in vitamin C, potassium, and fiber that replenishes electrolyte loss. Have a banana shake for a quick and convenient breakfast. Sweet potatoes are superb. Bright and colorful orange and purple sweet potatoes are not just for the holiday season. Make them part of your daily diet as they're jam-packed with anthocyanins. Studies have shown this compound to reduce colorectal cancer. The antioxidant also controls cancer cell growth. Sweet potatoes fight inflammation and help control blood pressure. This root vegetable adds color to your plate. Simply bake a few sweet potatoes and toss the rest in an airtight container to enjoy the next day. You can add sweet potato puree to soups and stews to make them more vibrant. Add a touch of lemons. This citrus fruit has been a kitchen staple for centuries in many cultures. The lip-puckering sour taste is due to the high vitamin C content. It builds strong bones, gums, and teeth and helps with blood formation. Limonene, another compound in lemons, helps you sail through stress, anxiety, and depression during chemo. A fun way to enjoy lemons during the summer is to mix lemon juice, water, and sugar and freeze it for a few hours. Your homemade tart lemon sorbet is ready in minutes. You can also squeeze a dash of lemon over your meal to get maximum benefits. Have a bowl of oatmeal. There are a couple of unique ways to spruce up oatmeal. Go the traditional way of overnight oats or make baked oat bars with frozen berries, oat cookies, or add them to your smoothies. This will help keep the risk of bacterial growth to a minimum. Oats contain a powerful soluble fiber called beta-glucan. It reduces bad cholesterol and helps reduce the spread of cancer cells. It's a good source of energy and proteins. The fiber pushes waste ahead and reduces colon irritation in colon cancer patients. The creamy texture of oatmeal also helps to reduce dry mouth and mouth sores. 
choose beans and peas for protein. If you've gone vegan, protein from plant sources can help you build muscle. The phytochemicals can protect your body from cell damage. It also slows down the growth of tumors. This will protect the nearby healthy cells. Kidney, pinto, black beans, yellow split peas, and red lentils have amazing antioxidants. You can make a huge batch of homemade refried beans, add a handful of leftover vegetables from your fridge, and drizzle a few spices to make a fantastic meal. Bean soups and burrito bowls can also be a nourishing addition to your diet. Never say no to berries. Blueberries, strawberries, cherries, and other deeply colored berries are one of the best foods to fight cancer. They bring a whole catalog of benefits to your body. They're loaded with dietary fiber, vitamin C, antioxidants, vitamin K, and polyphenols. Cherries can reduce pain and headache related to chemo. They're powerful anti-inflammatories. Studies suggest that having strawberries can prevent the spread of breast cancer cells. So keep a pack of frozen berries in your freezer. Remember to wash the berries if you're consuming them directly. You can make healthy smoothies by combining them with other foods and drinking up more nutrients. Do you eat broccoli regularly? You might have avoided this vegetable before, but having it during chemo can supplement your health in a big way. Cruciferous vegetables like kale, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts are a powerhouse of nutrients. They contain dietary fiber and vitamin C that boost your immune system. Moreover, a compound called sulforaphane is the key nutrient that reduces inflammation, especially during chemo. Cooked broccoli has an edge over raw broccoli. Now let's see what to avoid. Avoid raw eggs. Eggs are incredibly nutritious. Adding raw eggs to your protein shakes, Caesar salads, ice creams, and homemade mayonnaise can be tricky during chemo. When your immune system's already compromised, eating raw eggs can worsen the situation. Buy pasteurized eggs and store them in the fridge. Another tip is to only eat cooked eggs. Cooking them at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for more than six minutes can kill bacteria like salmonella and reduce the risk of getting infections and food poisoning. Salmonella infection can happen within 12 to 72 hours after eating contaminated eggs. It can cause diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps, and vomiting. Keep dry snacks to a minimum. Toast, crackers, and chips can be difficult to swallow. As chemotherapy reduces the salivary flow in your mouth, it gets very difficult to swallow dry foods. Additionally, sharp foods can amplify conditions like sore mouth and cracked lips. Pair dried snacks with some juicy sauces or dips that are nutritious as well as moistening. Make guacamole go with baked multi-grain nachos. That way you'll get a dose of healthy fats from avocados and fiber from the grains. Say no to alcohol. You may feel the urge to grab a glass of wine to unwind during this chaotic situation, but avoiding alcohol is in your best interest. Chronic alcohol consumption is responsible for 4% of all cancers worldwide. It may interfere with the chemo drugs and magnify the side effects. You could feel more nauseated and dehydrated. Studies have shown drinking alcohol can make cancer cells duplicate and spread aggressively throughout the body. Grab a glass of water or a smoothie whenever you feel parched. Talk to your loved ones and keep a positive mindset to avoid depression. No more sushi. Some fish like sushi and sashimi may contain high mercury levels. Cooking or having them raw can be dangerous. Frozen sushi-grade or sashimi-grade fish must also be avoided. Fish like lox also may become contaminated with bacteria. Oysters and shellfish also must not be eaten raw. It's best to stick to fatty fish like salmon, herring, mackerel, and tuna to get a blast of omega-3 fatty acids. The healthy fats from oily fish can provide extra energy. Processed meats are also a big no. Your favorite turkey sandwiches, bacon, and hot dogs can be dangerous. Highly processed red meat is adulterated with cancer-causing substances for increasing its shelf life. Research says consuming too much red meat can cause stomach and colorectal cancers to spread. It's best to keep the carcinogens out of your diet to continue chemo smoothly. Ham, sausages, pepperoni, beef jerky, and deli meats, including roast beef, must be avoided. Green tea can be a threat. Are you shocked to find this healthy drink on the dark side? This drink has mixed effects on different people. The polyphenols from green tea can have a therapeutic effect and reduce chemotherapy-associated side effects. 
On the other hand, we have the exact opposite findings. Research found green tea and black tea to increase risk of lung cancer. This generally was associated with patients taking bortezomib, or more commonly, Velcade therapy. If you've been enjoying a cup of green tea before cancer detection and you want to continue the same routine, it's best to talk to your doctor first. Raw honey can be dangerous. Since sugary beverages and foods are off limits, you might be tempted to add a drizzle of honey to your salad dressings or oatmeal bowls. Make sure you double check the honey you buy. Raw honey could be the culprit causing infections. It can contain bacterial spores that can cause food poisoning and be life-threatening. It can cause dizziness, nausea, vomiting, and a drop in blood pressure. Surprisingly, regular honey can mitigate the effects of cancer. Chuck that grapefruit. Grapefruit juice and grapefruit can be a breakfast staple for many. It's rich in antioxidants and vitamin C. Did you know that it can make the breakdown of a few cancer drugs extremely sluggish? This could cause a toxic buildup and cause fluctuations in your metabolism. You really don't want to offset any rhythm during chemo, so it's best to stay away from this fruit. Steer clear of unpasteurized cheeses. Make sure you're eating only pasteurized milk and milk products like yogurt, cheese, and butter. Soft cheeses with blue veins or Mexican-style cheeses must be avoided. Studies have shown consuming unpasteurized cheese elevates the risk of cancer spread. Bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella, and Staphylococcus aureus can all cause heavy infections. Lastly, cut back on spicy food. Hot wings, flaming Cheetos, or spicy barbecue sauces can cause burning mouths. Highly acidic and spicy foods can irritate soft tissues of your oral cavity. Ulcers in the oral cavity can prevent you from eating other less spicy foods too. A meta-analysis found that eating high spicy food can cause cancer to spread. That's why it's best to stick to bland foods that don't irritate your digestive tract. Make food your medicine on the path to healing. You might not know what could have caused the disease, but food can definitely help you fight it effectively. Want to know more? Well, let's keep the conversation going with a couple more anti-cancer food-related videos, shall we? Watch 12 cancer-causing foods that you should never eat, or top 5 cancer-causing foods to avoid. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn how to make fighting cancer easy. Are you eating the right foods during chemo? Let us know in the comments below.